Hi, my name is Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing Wild Arms 3 and recording it all on VHS. Last time, we escaped Baskar Village, and this time, we're going to check out Jolly Roger with the Bell Star Saloon. Um, those camera angles. Again, look at this cliff face. Um, so, yeah, uh, it is a different day, same week, but uh, if recording... I've made some more poorer choices, and it's again real late, so you're gonna get late night price recording things, which generally means I ramble a bit more. I'm sorry. Um, however, oh hey, Amelia's Workshop, uh, Freelance Armsmith, and Shipwright. This seems important. Okay, so, real quick, I watched the opening, like, basically every time I go load the game, I get sucked into the anime opening and I love it like it it really does get me fired up to play this game that is a really great touch and you know it's skippable in case it isn't your thing but it is super my jam I love this thing like it it really again just gets me real fired up to play howdy uh, let's try that again All right, I think we're gonna try to go for Southern Bell, so let's, you know, the, the standard line of that is like, I do declare, howdy, can I help you with any machines like armed ships and such? You're looking for a ship to cross the dunes in, but you can't find one anywhere, right? Am I right? Today's your lucky day, why not help me with my research? I'm gonna to put together the strongest, most cutting edge sandcraft ever. <laughs> I think the second option was resist her blatant overtones. <laughs> what do you think? This baby's a cutting edge, high speed sandcraft technology. A conventional sandcraft generates so much friction that the sand cuts into the hole. This number packs a solid load of armament while making huge advances in overall speed and durability. She's my answer to all the hurdles when confronting further development of the technology. Of course, I had to skimp a little on the weaponry to finish her, and her drive data is blank. Hmm. I need 15 more dragon fossils to finish her chassis. All you have to do is go get them. Just promise to record her drive data and she's yours. Sounds like a great deal to me. What do you say? Dragon fossils for a sandcraft? Uh, yeah. We definitely will be helping her complete that. <laughs> I'm happy you want to help, but I don't think you've got enough right now. Dragon fossils are made into all kinds of armor parts, and there's no substitute for them. Alright. Okay, so, more systems for me to get enamored with. The silence is me loving this way too much, so... <sighs> this game, man. Okay, so, yeah, like... This is super cool, just... Instead of, like, upgrading my... <laughs> Okay, so last time I mentioned Etrian Odyssey, and like part of what, what I love about it is that it's so crunchy and all that stuff, and it has like... You know, it's got all the old RPG stats, and I love that stuff. Dark Souls has this sort of thing of just like, which stats do you want to upgrade? Do your build the way you want to do it. And yeah, this is extremely my jam. And instead of it being tied, like, I love that it is tied to your weapons, and it seems like your weapons are there to stay. I didn't see any way to, like, you know, change anybody's weapons out in any of these menus like there's not equipment I just realized there's no armor or anything like it's all in those upgrade things and then your mediums speaking of mediums I'm gonna try a button actually doesn't seem to work here so it might not work Hmm. Wait, when did she get another point? Cool. She got another point. Um. Alright. So, 
It's told that select should act as a, uh, a tooltip thing. Um, it probably works in combat. It doesn't seem to be doing anything in this menu. So we'll try that later in combat. But this game, it's so systematically crunchy and gooey and I love it. And it's smart in the way it's doing things. Okay. Welcome to voice time. <laughs> oh, howdy there. The, yeah, that'll, that'll do. Oh, howdy there. Without the trade ships coming in, who'd want to come and stay here? I hit a button. Uh, I probably should read what the buttons are. <laughs> it cost 145 gallon. Does that sound fair? That's... No, stop hitting me. Hi, my name is Bryce, and I'm bad at menus. <laughs> I'm so bad at menus, I'm sorry. So I've avoided mentioning it thus far, but hey, did you know that I'm actually a speedrunner for uh, Resident Evil 2? I put all those videos and that stuff lives over on Twitch instead of YouTube. I've considered doing a few things to get this, like some cross-pollination between YouTube and Twitch, but I just haven't gotten around to it, and I've mentioned and cut this whole speedrunning nonsense several times at this point. Like, all the way back as far as when I was playing Resident Evil 2 on this channel, I almost ended that series with, oh, and by the way, I've been playing new Resident Evil 2 and started speedrunning it. So, yeah, um, guess what? I'm really bad at menus. Menus are my bane and one of my biggest time costs, so yeah. Anyway, hey, just thought you should know I hate menus. <laughs> I love games with menus. I'm so bad at menus. Looking for leads? You're quite the diligent drifter, aren't you? I love my job too. Life's easier if you like your job. And it's got it's great not having any complaints. What do you say? I'll give you some info on all four if all four of you eat here, it'll be about 150 gallons. Hey, guess who doesn't have any money? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Looks like you don't have quite enough. Well, that's alright. I'll just take what you've got. Much obliged. Leave it to me for good food, good drink, and good company. Oops, did I say good company? Well, shucks. Please excuse me and this mouth of mine. Here in Jolly Roger, we got lots of old tales and treasure. And they ain't really that old. I'm tell. <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I've been trying to hold it in while I've been reading this, but they just took whatever money I had left instead of making me go out and farm, you know, another 150 gala or however much I needed. And I'm sure I was pretty dang close to broke, anyhow. So that's super cool that they just let me get on with the game despite not having money. That's rad. I love it. This game's good. It's real good. <laughs> I'm talking about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm talking about a prize that none of you drifters have ever been able to get their hands on. The Eternal Sparkle. In ages past, our world was fueled... Yeah, let's try that again. In ages past, our world was ruled by a race of wicked demons until they were pushed to the brink of extinction. The Demon Knight assigned three followers to protect the treasure. That treasure was the Eternal Sparkle. Uh, I'm glad you all are such good listeners, but I need to start fixing dinner. Just have a seat at the table and I'll bring you over some supper and get the rest out of my story in a jiffy. And there's rest music, so we also got a rest out of all that. This game, it good. <clears throat> Man, am I full. And what a cook she is. She hooked us up good. I wouldn't worry about... <clears throat> I wouldn't worry about the tab. Not only did we have our goodbye party, but we got a valuable lead as well. Yeah, you got a point. Anyway, 
What do you all think about the information she provided? Do you want to go investigate? I'm still pulling that southern draw slightly. <laughs> I'm go. Alright, it's time for Jet, who does not have a consistent voice yet. So, what voice does he end up with today? I'm going. I don't care what you guys do. I prefer working alone anyway. <laughs> so, the legendary Eternal Sparkle. In ages past, our world was ruled by a race of wicked demons until they were pushed to the brink of extinction. The Demon Knight assigned three followers to protect the treasure. That treasure was the Eternal Sparkle. The three followers transformed themselves into seals to protect the Eternal Sparkle, awaiting the return of the Demon Knight. And one of those seals lies nearby in this town. That's what she said, right? It's a sparkle. <clears throat> it's the sparkle part of that that makes me... <sighs> Can I get this light ring? Third time's a charm, right? It's the sparkle part of that it makes you think some kind of gem, don't it? Aren't the legends full of these things? Unless we're sure. Unless we're sure it's worth something. I don't want any part of it. I'm out of here. An old legend, hmm? Considering that they remain strong. Even this lead is rare. Hmm. Even this lead is a red herring. Or, even if it's true, then there's no doubt that it'd be hazardous. I really dig that portrait. It's nice. Also, his hair is super not green in <laughs> this portrait, and I don't think it's been green in the uh, opening or anything either. Anyhow, um, I, have be I have nothing better to do, and I'm just not enthusiastic about the uh, prospects. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Our partnership ends here. Once it's outside, we'll scatter in the wind. I'll head out alone. I've always been alone. I like being alone. <laughs> there you go again! You can only do so much by yourself. If we stay together, we can do that much more. The four of us have different likes and dislikes, so we should all support each other. Who cares if it's tough? As long as there's four of us, there's always a glimmer of hope in the darkness. Again, a great portrait. We release the Guardians. The four of us together make can make a great team. Hmm. I didn't expect that after our farewell celebration. Have you been thinking about that? The first meeting might have been coincidence, but we didn't come all this way due to our individual strength. We did it as a team. Someday, I want to say it wasn't just coincidence. It was fate. Guys, let's make our mark as one. <laughs> oh, well, that was a mouthful. Hey, did I say something funny? Am I missing something? <laughs> yeah, you're missing something. Never thought anybody could say stuff like that with a straight face. But you don't have you do have a point. Drifters would never leave their mark if all they did was drift. You mean You betcha, I'm full for it. And you ain't got anything else to do, right? Well well I suppose you're right. Hmm. Alright, I'm game. I consider it prudent for all of us to pool our resources until we're able to set individual goals. Yippee! <laughs> we're a team! Now we're all gonna seek out the Eternal Sparkle. But not so fast. Huh? You got some kind of problem? Yeah, a big problem. <laughs> That's funny, I thought you couldn't wait to head out to the treasure hunting. But, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you pestering me on my way. What nerve! I work alone. I don't have time to play wannabe drifters. <laughs> wannabe drifters? Okay, tough guy, you say work alone, so fill me in. Tell me what you've done. Tell everyone here about all the great things you've been able to do by being your fantastic self. Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, before you start mumbling excuses, let me ask you what you were doing with in the car with the Arc Scepter. 
You were planning on making off with it, weren't you? And what happened? You blew it! You didn't have what it takes to steal it, cowboy! And here you are saying you work best when you're alone. Where did you get such a big head? What? what you... that's... that's... Not, uh, I wasn't the only one after the cargo that night. Whoa, whoa hey, uh, <laughs> that's all beside the point. So, like, yeah, you, you're so, you know... Who cares if we're wannabe drifters? We can take it easy and have fun while we're <laughs> while we venture into the unknown, right? Right? <laughs> Perhaps you're right. <laughs> Look, leader? M me? Who else? <laughs> this is your idea, isn't it? So, leader, let us reaffirm our collective purpose. Well, we have three goals. To find the ruins where the eternal sparkle lies, to work as a team, and lastly, to make the eternal sparkle ours. <laughs> See, that's why I work alone. <laughs> Give it a rest, hero. You're just hurting yourself. Besides, when it comes to persuasion, she trounces all of us hands down. <laughs> were you two listening? Oh, of course. And we're looking forward to working with you, leader. <sighs> Speak for yourself, punk. Okay, so if I had any doubts about Virginia being rad as heck, they're gone. Just dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game is real good. I'm, I'm, I'm real happy with this. Like I'm, I'm pleased. <laughs> uh, dang, just dang, like completely call him out. <laughs> Hooray, a heelberry. A camera angle. A mini carrot. Alright, so rocky start to voices aside. Ooh boy. This Ooh, hey, we found a dragon fossil. I feel like we just stole it from her and she needs it, but, uh, uh... She forgot about it, right? We're just, we're gonna give it to her anyway. We'll blame it on Jet. A large metal hook hangs here. It seems to have been used for loading and unloading cargo. Neat! I used to play on things like this when I was a kid. Oh, hey, there it is. Hooray! A coin. It was a big old propeller. Right, this guy. Howdy. Good to see you, kiddos. <laughs> that was a great animation. Let's go. Oh, what's that face for? I know you found some clues. Come on, give us a little hint. Please? Why would I help a scoundrel like you? Again, that's just a really great portrait. The scoundrel? Oh, that hurts. We're drifters. Sometimes our goals collide, but it comes with the territory. So please, lay off the insults. You want the eternal sparkle. How did you... You've been spying on us. There you go again. Look, anybody in this town with half a brain can find that out. Ain't much else to this town. Look. Let's work together. With all of us, I'm sure we could, un we could uncover the location of... Nope. I can't trust you. I hate not trusting people, but still... 
I... I just said I'd make a team with these drifters I met out in the wasteland. So I can't work with you right now. Hmm. That's too bad. Just listen to this. I heard the eternal sparkle is somewhere inside an ancient vault called the Ruins of Memory. This is really suddenly an interesting like dialogue mechanic because I don't want to ask this guy for information. But I also want to know more about these ruins of memory. And this isn't a cutscene, so I can't just like you know roll it back and you know talk to him again to get the answer, so. This game is really just kicking it up a notch. Like, it's, you know, it's just like, oh, hey, go into Second Town, let's talk to some people. It's just like suddenly super interesting and super good. Let's ask. The Ruins of Memory? An old museum constructed by the ancients that houses the history of our world. Some say it's been plundered before, but no one knows how deep it is in there. It has quite a mysterious layout. Well, maybe that's why some still whisper of the relics inside, yet untouched by modern hands. Believe me or not, it's your choice, princess. But we're not trying to fool you. You can trust me on that one. Next time we meet, I hope you'll be ready to help us out. Because I had to make some sacrifices to come out here and see you. Save your game. Continue playing, yes. Beep. Suit yourself, amigo. Have a nice day. Check these last couple boxes and things. And this door. I don't think I ever went in it. Oh, hey. Most people call the ruins of to the southeast the ruins of memory. I hear it's a prehistoric treasure trove filled with artifacts from the past. I'm sorry my voice is just getting super breathy when I go that high, but that's a pretty high pitch for me. <laughs> I bet treasures in there are worth a lot. Of course, lots of drifters have gone and taken most of the choice artifacts away already. If some treasure remains, it must be in a place sealed off with lots of deadly traps to keep treasure hunters away. Phil Gaia for everyone catches your eye. Would you like to read it? In days long, long ago, the demons brought war to our planet from a faraway world. An alliance of living beings and guardians fought for Philgaia. The result of the war is not known to mankind. The very fact that we live, however, points to a victory for the forces of Philgaia. But look around you. Philgaia is a world of barren waste. It is believed the war caused this. In a certain sense, that war continues to this very day. As the creatures of Philgaia banded together to protect the planet, we must work together to revive it. Doo -doo. All right, so we are now on a quest for dragon fossils. Southeast. Alright, this is where I had, you know, kind of 
bumble around. Men who cry over using up a gimel coin often lose their lives. The best time for a gimel coin is right when you find it. Alan Smithy. Landed right on top of it. Oh dang. Those are real menacing statues. I wonder what sort of things I'm up against here, so let's take some combat and figure that out. Okay, we've got some little skeleton dudes who really rather hurt last time. Did they hurt that bad or was it just uh, that they just uh, did not want to take damage? By the way, I don't trust this book. It takes your book. Hmm. Let's see how Petrify does against them. And maybe let's do something smart and actually analyze them so I know what their weaknesses are instead of just guessing at it. That did very little. Okay, so the attack blocker seems to just be, like, a random chance to block things. Okay, so they are resistant to, I believe, that is in order, Earth, Water, Ice, Blink, Lightning. I don't know what that last symbol is, but looks like they are resistant to, there's probably a dark. Like, I'm willing to guess those last two are light and dark. So, fire does okay. But, otherwise... Yeah, I guess I should just keep shooting them. And if I can, I'd really like to get Gallows to heal. Especially Virginia, jeez. Just the one left, so hey Virginia, have yourself a rest, Clive, you reload, Jet, you hang around and wait. And we're short of an extension, so we're gonna get Virginia back up before we go much further. Same deal.
Clive is losing like 24 health. All right, let's just finish it. It's like it might be suboptimal, but it's not like Virginia, who was you know well below half health. Okay. pretty quick on the trigger, but as a drifter it may cost you if your life if you don't pull it. What are you doing here? I want to join forces, Princess. Didn't I mention that before? And I do have a name. Allow me to introduce myself. Janus Cascade. And the pleasure is all mine. I seem to have made a bad first impression. You have every right to reject my offer, but that is precisely why I want to join forces. I want to redeem myself and earn your trust. If you're after the eternal sparkle, we'd like to help. Hmm. Fine. Let's find the eternal sparkle together. Hey, hey, hey! What are you thinking? We can't trust this guy. As long as you, as long as you are the leader, we shall abide by your decision. However, you sure you have carefully thought this out? Hmm. I understand your concern, but everybody deserves a second chance. I don't like to hold grudges. It's too hard and painful to handle. To tell you the truth, I don't trust him 100% either. But at some point, we have to. I have to do this, or else I'll be skeptical of him forever. That's why I choose to trust him now. Understood. I shall accept his. Pro pro I mean, our leader's decision. Look. You have my utmost respect, Princess. I wish I could think like you. Actually, maybe I did back in the day. <laughs> well, now that we're a team, what are you guys going to do for us? Information. We can provide information about the demons who are said to have sealed the Eternal Sparkle. Demons? I'm sure you've heard of them. Those demons you hear about in folklore? They're said to have existed ages ago. Their spiteful rancor supposedly lives on within these ruins. Do you know what that means? The Eternal the Sparkle and the demons are somehow connected. I'll tell you more once we find it. I think it's a fair deal. We just need you to escort us deep within these trap-filled ruins. With our strength and your information, we'll get through these ruins in no time. We're counting on you, Janus. Same here, Princess. Same here. Okay. <laughs> they do, in fact, not have them as, like, actual members of my party. A large heap of rock resembling a human form. Could it be a sculpture from ages past? An overwhelming sensation can be felt from these rocks. Alright. Only that the broken showcase remains, which is believed to have displayed artifacts from ages past. Artifacts from an ancient civilization. I wonder what they were like. Bah. Fight time.
Okay, this... Like, all the little running around and everything, like, it apparently doesn't really do much, but it really does add to just making the combat feel active. What were people doing? They've been better. But let's finish this. Just glass, right? That's a nice little trick. Like that's it's out of game knowledge being applied in game, but it's like it's very simple knowledge of just like, oh Yeah, device is keeping the door shut. You know, oh no, it's a glass there's glass surrounding this. If only I could break the glass. Well, maybe I can. Do, do, do you. Okay, so this dungeon is really starting to seem like it's the, hey, now that we're actually part of a team, remember that you all have tools that you all need to use. Yeah, this is definitely the, like, use teamwork to accomplish things. And also put bombs closer to things. <laughs> of encounter skip points. Alright, two books this time. So I'm personally like really enjoying all this combat stuff. Like all these animations do make it feel really lively, but it is also like admittedly really kind of slow. Um I don't know, I'm gonna need some advice on on that, of just like, should I be skipping combat? Because if I do, that's gonna be, you know, editing fun on my end, but also it's just like... I enjoy it. All of this, like, random animation activity on the battlefield is... It makes the battle really interesting to me, who is playing the game. I don't know how that would feel to watch. Since, you know, when I'm watching things, I'm very much focused on, like, is the sound lining up and stuff like that. Alright, there's just the one left. I'd really... We're gonna have everybody defend and see if we can get Gallows to do a shot and get his force level up. Perfect. Because now he can do a mass heal. Everybody else can defend. You can extend your heal to get everybody back up so that we don't waste a Jesus, that hurts. Anyway. Yeah, that's the uh that's the plan. We just have everybody get Oh wow, Gallows is missing like fifty hit points. Rough. 
because I don't want to, like, use up all of my vitality bits. Jeez. Mm, okay, there we go. There's a bunch of money. What are we up against? An Anna Burge. Well, Virginia doesn't do much damage. Thank you. It is weak to ice. I don't think that was ice, though. Well, that worked. <laughs> Oh, no. Poison has stuck around after the battle. <laughs> and we have one antidote. Probably me hitting the bomb button and not realizing it. Alright, just two skeletons. That's not bad. Okay, so it seems that Defender like puts Virginia into a defensive stance to like auto-defend some things. Like the Whatever wards have been pretty clearly, um, like, protection against that specific element. Everybody gets a level except for Virginia. <laughs> Poor Virginia. All right. Okay, let me just hit buttons randomly. There's something of interest over there. That is not what I want to do. That was... This is a shortcut out. Alright, tell you what. I'm feeling a little nervous with uh, poison being in play here. And not having any more antidotes. So... We're going to head back to town. I'm going to pick up some antidotes. Then we're going to save, and we'll finish out that dungeon next time. Because... Oh boy. It's late. <laughs> That's the real answer. Like, I really want to keep playing this game, like... Oh, this is... This is one I'm really having to hold myself back on playing. Um, you're not the shopkeeper. You're going to help me upgrade things when I get to that point when I can actually, you know, afford to do that. Mm. 
Where is the shopkeep? Did he leave? Heck. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> shopkeep guy. Where? Why did you leave me? <laughs> uh, did I even run into him? Like, when did I... When did I buy the map? Hello, cat. Hmm. Excuse me, bird. Okay, so this follows the... This follows... Again, I'm bringing up Etrian Odyssey. This follows um, the Etrian Odyssey style. Price increases for beds as you level up. So, yeah, beep boop howdy, we're gonna save our game. Um, well, maybe I'm not going to get myself some antidotes because I didn't see Shopkeeper Guy, and oh boy, that that makes me nervous. So yeah, we'll call it a day. <laughs> um, I guess this is this is what we're coming back to is we'll do that dungeon without things that would be really useful because I spent all of my money on a world screen and I don't I don't I don't think it's done anything useful for me yet. Yay! Let's overwrite that save data, though. Hey, -oh. <laughs> perfect, great, everything's fine. Oh, I'm super enjoying this game. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. Like, I'm, I'm real pleased. Virginia is, like, you kind of got a little bit of flavor from her, like right at the start, but you, she has not had her chance to like fully shine until that little round table and. Dang. <laughs> that was great. I, I really, really enjoyed that. I am super looking forward to more of the game. So, yeah. Uh, hope you are too. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Bryce. This has been VHS Play. And have yourself a lovely evening.